So, you like Krabby Patties, but you don't live in Bikini Bottom. Well, step one, grab a bus all the way down to Bubbleville, and it's on the left. Hey guys, I'm Beth, that's by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how to make angel wings as a little design in Inkscape today. So if you don't know, Inkscape is a vector program, which means that uh, no matter how big you make your art after you finish it, or how small you make it, it will always remain clear, because it is uh, scalable to any size unlike regular graphics which are like raster graphics which will become pixelated or blurry um, when you scale them or zoom them or make them bigger so um, the way we can do this is go ahead and go over here to the draw bezier curves and straight lines tool and we're gonna go ahead and just draw a basic shape so we're gonna click once down here um, we're gonna click and drag um, until we have like this nice little arch like that um, and then release and then we're gonna go ahead and just put our cursor all the way down here and then connect it back up to the bottom now we have this like fairy wing looking thing but what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make this um not like this so let's go ahead and go up here to the uh, edit paths by nodes tool and then we can go ahead and do a couple of things so now we can uh go ahead and hit uh alt or sorry not alt uh control and double click there and then just kind of move this where we want it and then hit control here uh, or double tap actually think you, i think you can just double yeah you don't have you don't even have to hold control you can just double tap double click um right there and then what you can do is just pull this piece in kind of mess with this little uh, pivot point a little bit so it's a little uh, a little more to your liking and then up here at the top I'm gonna zoom in by holding down control and then zooming my my uh, my scroll my mouse wheel I'm gonna go ahead and put push these uh, little pivot points into the origin of this little handle here both of them just put those both in there and now you can see it's nice and it's a nice little sharp angle which looks cool that we can go ahead and manipulate and you know pull up or pull down like that I'm gonna pull it up a little bit um, and then we'll just move this uh, this pivot point. These handles are kind of small. Something about like that. And then this one, I think this one needs to be a little more... Actually, we might be able to get rid of this one by hitting delete. Just dragging a box over it, hitting, hitting delete like that. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, I moved over away from the canvas because I didn't feel like getting rid of the page. But if you do want to get rid of the page, actually, I'll, I'll talk about that for a second. File, document uh, properties, and then it's going to open up this uh, box over here. And then you can hit go ahead and, and show page border and get rid of that. There you go. So you can just move that back over there um, if you want to do that so nice with this done I want to go ahead and select this piece here and then go over to uh, fill and uh, fill in the stroke if you don't have this you can go up to I believe it is object and then fill in stroke right there boom there you go um, so with that done I'm gonna hit this little button right here which fills that in solid black which looks really cool um, and I think I want to go ahead and now we, what we need to do now is add some more um, wings. So essentially what I want to do is I want to add a couple more wings, uh, a couple more pieces to this, sorry, so the wings look a little bit more um, complete. So let's go ahead and um, add a few more. So let's uh, start our cursor here, maybe make it travel about there and then have it come up and then we'll maybe put one there arc that one a little bit and then make it come back together so we need to fix this little piece up here because obviously that's you know overlapping so let's use the uh, edit uh, paths tool and we'll just kind of pull that together I'm gonna push these nodes into the tip so that it is uh, completely um, completely uh, sharp there I'm gonna move this around as well maybe oop, whoa maybe move this up to push it inwards maybe pull that out a little bit more something like uh, something like this there we go. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and go uh, back to the select tool and then go uh, fill in stroke and flat color. So ba basically, that just fills it with a flat color, which looks really cool. Um, and we'll do the same thing for other ones. So we can actually probably duplicate this um, and put this uh, somewhere else. I might put it right uh, right about there so we don't so I can have a nice, uh, you know, uh, uh, cohesive uh, shape because I do want to I don't want to use every single uh, shape as a different shape. I want to look I want to look a little cohesive. So we'll make like a couple and then we'll duplicate them out. Um, we'll do another one here. And then we'll actually go down further with this one. We'll pull that one down a little bit. Pull this point down like there. There we go. Pull that down. Pull that down. Nice, nice. And then we'll do something like this. Pull these into the origin. And then we shall see if we can pull that down. Maybe we'll put like a little, a little indent there on this one. And maybe we'll put a little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're just we're just filling this space up essentially is what I'm trying to do here. Um, we're just kind of filling the space, and I think the best way to do this is to kind of like um, look at the if you if you know what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the bottom of this one up here. So this one we've already made, it, and I'm kind of trying to form fit these around 
the previous feathers that we've made here a little bit just to have just we have a little bit of um a little bit of shape to this so it doesn't look super um so it doesn't look super sloppy or different you know and fill that one in and this looks really really cool already obviously i think i want to have a little bit of a slit here this would be really cool actually if i can maybe like just put a little thing there and then use the pass tool to kind of open that little slit up a little bit and then pull this downwards and yeah it's cool and then we'll do the fill what does it look like from afar uh, i don't know about that we'll have to we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see what we'll to see i don't know if it's it, i like the detail or if i want to just keep it simple i'm not sure so we will have to maybe if we like overlap these like that maybe that would look cool and then i'll raise this piece up here okay yeah maybe this would look better now that it's a little thicker yeah Okay, hold on, let's and then we'll move this piece, and then I'll move this inwards, and then we'll move this there. This is going to look better, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Nice, we'll just move this down a little bit. Um, well, we'll grab that piece and move it down a little bit, and then we'll move this one down a little bit as well. So that, that one has a little bit more room to breathe. Um, and I think, I think, I don't want to do too much to this. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go just drag a box over top of everything. Right click it and then hit um, create clip group. Right click it again and then hit duplicate. And then we can go ahead and flip this by using the flip tool up here at the top. So flip that and then we can uh, move it over and hold down control so it snaps to the same um, level that it's on. And then we just move it over uh, about right there. So that is our, that's our angel wings, which looks really, really, really cool. I do think I want to maybe create a halo for this um, because it looks kind of uh, unfinished right now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to use the circle tool. And just create a little circle about that um, aspect ratio for obvious reasons. And then we're going to just create it, uh, make sure that it's, it is looking good. So let's go ahead and select this. Um, make sure the fill, uh, make sure the fill color, the opacity is turned all the way up. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a box over the top of all three of these objects. So the two wings and then the halos. Um, and what I want to do is I want to make sure this is, this is in the center. So let's go ahead and do that by uh, going on down to, I don't have this up over here. Um, we need to find the uh, the toolbox that should that will help us uh, align these, which is going to be, I don't know where that is. All right, we're gonna, we'll, we'll open objects up, or not objects, sorry. We'll open, da -da 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 Align and distribute. There it is. All right. So I, I usually have everything on dark mode, and this is throwing me off to be on light mode like this. I should have just switched it before I started the tutorial. But um, you see, we have the align and distribute um, dialog over here. So what this is, is essentially is if whatever we have selected, it will um, align them according to all three of these objects. So if I go ahead and hit this little center button right here, since we're on vertical axis, it will go ahead and align everything sent, uh, uh, vertically. But the problem with this is, is that it, uh, it it aligns all of the objects, as you can see. So instead of just, uh, you know, taking these two and then putting it in the center of that, it, it kind of like, you know, it kind of messes it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the, the two angel wings and not and not the hold on shift and, and click the uh, halo we're gonna we're gonna right click this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this as a group and so that so that they're all like so that the wings are together and if we want to ungroup it we can always hit ungroup and then we can hit um and then they're they're separate once again obviously as you can uh, see so there you go um now what i want to do is select both of these the wings and the halo and then hit this little button again and then it'll move the halo directly in the center of the wings which is what we need so um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold down control and move this upwards slightly a little bit. So it's like snapping uh, on the vertical line, but I want it to be a little higher. So there you go. Nice. Um, with this done, I think instead of having this be a solid fill, I'm going to undo the solid fill and just use a stroke fill um, and use this make the stroke style thicker. So it creates a nice little, um, a nice little halo. So do something like uh, stroke style, maybe 10. Maybe that's a little too thick, maybe eight. Something like that, I believe. That looks kinda that looks kinda cool. I like that a lot. Maybe even maybe even less, maybe five. Uh, let's try a little bit bigger. Six. Somewhere in between is, is what I'm trying to go for here. I think six is a nice a nice little in between. Let's see what seven looks like. 
Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do six. I feel like seven is a little overpowering. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. And you can, like I said, you can do anything else you want with this. You, if you have like a a, a logo, uh, another logo, like a letter for your name or whatever your um, whatever your logo may be, you can go ahead and obviously put that in this in this area. Let's say you have like an R as your logo. It would be like this, you know, and it would be there. And obviously, this is really scuffed, but <laughs> it would be there. And then you know, you know, you just fill that in or whatever that looks actually kind of cool it looks like a, like a rock band or something but uh, imagine obviously the touch by kai logo would go um somewhere about right there obviously but um but yeah so ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed today's tutorial very simple uh very simple graphic very cool graphic i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i will see you in the next one um but until then bye bye